uh, as COVID began, we uh, started the support group, which is every Thursday since March, we're continuing and we will continue. Uh, I personally had uh, several deaths in my family, friends and uh, acquaintance circles, uh, 23 deaths I had starting with my mother in April. And not everybody was from COVID, only five from the 23 were. And uh, it was challenging to see humiliation in a way of the older uh, mothers and grandparents and grandfathers, uh, seeing them through the glass and not being able to touch them and be with them at their last stage of uh, grieving. So uh, I wrote the uh, poem, uh, COVID, uh, the phone call, uh, the COVID phone call, which was uh, a release for me to uh, also share with my uh, loved ones the anxiety we all felt and are still feeling to get that call to uh, hear that another one yet has passed away. So we have uh, through our programs and different interviews we've had on uh, different blogs and podcasts and uh, television, we continue to educate people how to find meaning in times of distress and not give in to uh, humiliation and not give in to the racial pandemic. And uh, we also had uh, wonderful programs uh, uh, talking about uh, how to come together in unity and overcome racism. We then explored uh, towards research, trying to find uh, the impact of COVID on psychological and mental health uh, wellness as well as impact of racism. And those research are still ongoing. Uh, here are the links for you. And learning more about how we can come together uh, in light of pandemics and uplift one another, like uh, our motto of, uh, uh, states, when one helps another, both become stronger. And we have, uh, through our support groups and monthly workshops, we have provided opportunity for people to share their grief. And we had several programs on grief. The Empty Chair is one of them, sponsored by New York State Psychological Association. And here's the link for that. We are uh, in this together and it's uh, important to uh, uh, the DHS, the Humiliation Prevention Program, uh, to bring all these uh, uh, people with their initiatives together so that we are connected through Zoom and we can share uh, our support, uh, our resources. We have two lists of resources, one for COVID, uh, 19 and the other one for racism. So together we can, we stand strong and uh, shared sorrow is half sorrow while shared joy is double joy. I look forward to connecting with you and continuing the dialogue around transforming humiliation through active and mindful steps for a positive future. Thank you for your attention. I'm Ani Kalaijian from Association for Trauma Outreach and Prevention, MeaningfulWorld.com. Thank you. May peace prevail on earth.